All right, so we got another workout. Um, doing 30 seconds on, 10 seconds break. Okay, so just because we're going for 30 seconds doesn't mean it's too short. It should be meaning that you're pushing it just as hard as you would for 50 seconds. You should actually be out of breath on you know your second round, your third round, your fourth round. So I saw some comments on Facebook. You know, it's only 30 seconds. I like 50. I like it a little bit longer. Do more rounds. If we're doing this for five rounds, do it for six or seven. Get the most out of your workout, but push for the entire 30 seconds right to the end. It shouldn't be easy because it's not. It's tough. And we have a visitor, don't we? Candace's little girl. Told her she can't talk, so now she... <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> She's watching, so no excuses either. You can have your kids in the workout and they can, they can be a part of it too. But the most important, if, if we're saying, people are saying 30 seconds isn't hard enough, technically for 30 seconds you should be pushing yourself harder than you would even in that 50. So there's no reason, like you actually get a break, so you should be pushing yourself extra hard. Exactly. Hey, how you doing? Who's this? GP. All right, let's get on with it. 30 10. First one's gonna be burpee. I'm doing a one legged burpee. Candace is gonna do two legged burpee or a modified version. We got 10 seconds. right up get your balance you're not gonna go as quick with the one leg oh, wow I'm struggling oh. all right sandbag pulse squats I screwed up didn't I Jordan yeah I did all right, sandbag pulse squats. You're gonna stay low in the basement. Get a nice pulse. Sitting right back, knees not past the toes, back straight, chin up. You should feel a nice burn. Oh yeah. <laughs> really Woo! after those burpees. Sticking the butts out. <laughs> oh, that was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> Sticking the butt out? <laughs> All right. Are we silly? Two push-ups. I'm popping up. Whew. Candace is gonna do the modified version. Two push-ups. Hop up. Really drive the legs up. Quick. If you're doing it off your knees, that's okay. Just get it done. What are you doing, Candace? Double push up, stretch back, hold abs tight. I'll get it for you in a sec. <laughs> we told her she can't move. Here we go. All right, around the world. So we're just going opposite side each time. I'm swinging that bag around. I'm going to do a squat. Candace is just swinging it around. Abs tight. Nice and uh, uh, Can feel it in the that side. Bag around. If you want to add the squat, add the squat. If you don't, don't add it. Right? That's right. Uh, Just keep the abs tight. All right, abs, side abs. Okay. Side plank version. Try to keep a line. You're going down and up. Uh, stick it at the top. Whew. Try to keep your body nice and straight. Uh, uh. Candace is doing the modified version. Leg down. Try to get that hip. Stick it right to the floor. Bounce it right back up. Uh. All right, switch sides. This is a great workout for the abs. Warm them up with the around the world. If you want, you can stick your hand up. If you'd rather prefer it there, 
You can have it on the shoulder, not on the shoulder, on the hip. <laughs> shoulder would be like this. Really focus on driving that hip straight up. Now if this gets too hard, you can hold it as well for a little burn if you'd like. We'll let it right back down. Perfect. That was good. So what we're doing. Think? Yeah, you what do you good? Think? Was that good? Oh. We got no comment. <laughs> but um, that was really good. Good for the abs. Warming it up with the around the world and then getting right into the side abs. Again, no excuses. Even if you got your kids around. You can do it. She gets she gets included in lots of stuff, don't you? Yeah. You've oh. <laughs> taught her well. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good job.